Later, Henry stopped at Edward's station. Hello, Henry, said Edward. You look splendid. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Thank you, Edward, smiled Henry. Shh, can you hear something? It sounds like Gordon, said Edward, and it ought to be Gordon. But Gordon never whistled like that. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry, and he didn't look at Edward. He screamed straight through the station and disappeared. Well, said Edward. It isn't wrong, chuckled Henry, but we just don't do it. And he told Edward what Gordon had said. Meanwhile, Gordon screeched along the line. The noise was awful. At the station, everyone covered their ears. Sir Topham Hatt covered his ears, too. Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise. Gordon puffed sadly away. But he wouldn't stop whistling until two fitters climbed up and knocked his whistle valve in place. That night, Gordon slunk into the shed. He was glad it was empty. It isn't wrong, murmured Henry to no one in particular, but we just don't do it. No one mentioned whistles. <laughs>